A new twist tonight in the legal battle over which businesses can stay open in San Diego, and it all stemmed from a lawsuit brought on by two local strip clubs. Fox 5's Kasha Gagorchuk joins us live from Kearney Mesa outside Cheetah Strip Club with the new developments tonight. Kasha. Good evening, Phil. Well, this lawsuit got a lot of attention last month when a San Diego Superior Court judge tied the two strip clubs to all businesses that also serve food, allowing them to temporarily reopen. But today's decision overturns that. Strip clubs and businesses with a food license cannot stay open for indoor service while a lawsuit works its way through the court system. That's the latest unanimous decision from a three judge panel of the 4th District Court of Appeal. So there's a distance between arguing that it was a First Amendment violation versus arguing, hey, we've done everything we can as restaurants to be able to keep our establishment safe for patrons. Those two arguments are very different, and certainly the arguments may be amended if this litigation is going to be brought again. Legal analyst Wendy Patrick takes this case back to the beginning. Cheetah's Gentlemen's Club and Pacers Showgirls filing the lawsuit on the grounds of a First Amendment violation of free expression. One of the things they looked at is the government's purpose in curbing the spread of coronavirus is unrelated to First Amendment expression. A Superior Court judge temporarily tied strip clubs and all San Diego restaurants together, ruling they should remain open pending a trial or appeal in the case. But Friday's nearly 50-page opinion by the appellate court cited a number of issues with that ruling, saying it went too far, was vague and unfair for state and county officials who were not expecting the judge to include restrictions on restaurants. That it's not enough to say that COVID cases haven't been found in certain establishments. The regulations are designed to address the level of risk. In other words, they don't want to wait till an outbreak occurs. They want to be able to have county and state officials take the requisite precautions before that happens. The attorneys for both Pacers and Cheetahs are reviewing today's decision and determining how to move forward. Reporting live in Kearney Mesa tonight, Kasha Grigorczyk, Fox 5 News. Kasha, thank you.